these members, most of them, they are demanding money of 2015, of 2016, 2017. They have not been paid. We have another sister organization that deals with commercial issues called UMOA. Whenever any of these other commercial corporations don't pay, within 45 days, we take them off air. So they pay within 30 to 45 days. They had come to me because as NAB, we are the one to represent them to government, that we should put some blackout to government institutions. I told them, no, we are going to meet the minister at the conference, let's engage, and then you will communicate to the accounting officers and the ministers that within the next few days, if government adamantly refuses to pay media houses, they might okay call a chintu. So, Honorable Minister, that is uh, request proposal number one. Request proposal number two relates to digital migration. Since digital migration, as you are aware, Honorable Minister, Ugandans have been subjected to pay TV, free to air TV. You requested to have a meeting between UCC and your technical officers, which we had, Honorable Minister. You didn't attend that meeting. You delegated the PS. We had some resolutions. They were 12. And each of those resolutions, they had their own timelines. And UCC indeed said within three months, starting May, within three months, they will have effected that. We are still waiting, Honorable Minister. We hope it will work. The good thing, UCC created a licensing regime that supports that. What remains, Honorable Minister, is to implement that licensing regime so that Ugandans can enjoy free to air TV free. Honorable Minister, we used to have local content quotas for both pay TV and, and free to air. We don't know where UCC dropped the ball. Uh, we see most of our channels full of foreign content. Honorable Minister, including the one you supervise directly, UBC, you may think that it is China TV. So, yeah. Uh, so, Honorable Minister, this is our country. We need to have content to support our local industries, our film industry. We need to support local content and have minimal foreign content. So, so Honorable Minister, we request that you prevail over UCC. They have every equipment. They have departments to look into this. They are well staffed to monitor this. Can they give us monthly reports on how we are faring and where we fall short, can we be penalized? Because this is our country, we need to protect it and defend it via content. And media can shape perceptions and create better societies or create fake societies. Honorable Minister, we also request that you prevail over government officials to appear on different platforms. One, to give the government side, but also to use the airtime that we gave them so that they can inform Ugandans on what is happening in as far as their different sectors are concerned. In most cases, the opposition is over, available. They don't need to be paid. They don't need to be called, and they are there to represent their side, and they will attack government. There is no government official to defend government, and they will think a certain media house is biased. So, Honorable Minister, we request you to prevail over your colleagues so they can come and revoke this country. Honorable Minister, you, you proposed to us in that committee that you would uh, amend the UCC Act to deal with the challenges we had, issues to do with um, the communications tribunal, and issues to do with um, our content. We'll await your, 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 your decision on that and how we can expedite that. As NAB, we work very well with UCC. We have no problem with them. But of course, if the structure is not straightened, we'll have issues in future. Right now, some of our members think with no offense to engineer Mutabas, the ED, that sometimes UCC is the complainant, is the judge, and is the one that decides what to happen to you. 
and you cannot sue them. I pity some of the people who have sued UCC. You will never succeed because as you sue them, they will say, you know, you are, you are transmitter. You know, it's not well modulated. So, and now will, they, will the court come and say, let's modulate the transmitter? So, so they have many ways to deal with you. So it's better, Honorable Minister, or to tell Saba Sajja, so that they are... They, they, they regulate, we work with them very well, but also we have, we have a tribunal. We have a tribunal that we can run to than running to courts of law, because with due respect to the, to, to, to the chairman, electoral commission, I know you've been in the judicial uh, uh, side. You know, these cases take six years, seven years, and you have a business to run. So if you have a tribunal and it can work on your issues very quickly, it will be very good. So, not in any way that uh, UCC has failed, but I think it is in the act, let's implement it. Uh, Honorable Minister, I want to say that uh, on our side, we will do the following. And I want to, to ask the members to, to join me in committing to, to, to the minister that we try to do our best to clean up our system, set up policies to enhance these standards we've just seen. We'll try as much as possible to employ people and give them contracts. You know, maybe here I said that some of our staff, they just come and just appear, they do a show and run away. We are not, they are not responsible to us because we don't employ them. They don't have contracts. I ask you members, if you believe that I'm still your chairman, can you go and clean up your house? Because when UCC knocks and says, where are your systems, where are your editorial policies, where are your staff, but we see so and so on air and you don't have, please don't call us that NAB now, please help me. We will not help you because we've agreed that we want to clean up this industry for the better. Uh, then, Honorable Minister, Medi said that we spread bad news in the evening, all the news. It starts with Omukazibam, Temi Omutwe, Atenori, Yakozechi, No. So we are spreading bad news, and a week ago I had a meeting here with, um, under BOU, with some directors of some banking institutions. Magic came out during break and said, Kin, talk to your members. The, 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 the seven o'clock bulletin and some bulletins, they start in a way that demoralizes Uganda. Can we give Ugandans hope? I, I know there's some good news. Can we cover good news? And then maybe that bad news comes towards the end. That's what she was, she was, she was talking about. So can we go and sanitize? I know we need to show those kind of uh, uh, incidents. Yes, they are part of our society, but can we make them uh, in a way that we can give Ugandans hope? And we need to create a better Uganda where people are hopeful, where people think and know that there is a better tomorrow. And we have to do it as media because we have that responsibility. I believe government alone may not achieve much if we don't do our part. Honorable Minister, as I conclude, we know the LC system in our governance structure very, very cardinal to our development. Without proper LCs installed, we will have anarchy at village level and indeed in our society. As media, I want us to work together as NAB and as media with electoral commission, since the electoral commission chairman is here, to make sure that we sensitize our people. This is our contribution. We sensitize our people uh, to make sure that they participate I know there are some things which might not go well, lining up and others he will explain, but let us try as much as possible to sensitize Ugandans so that they go out and vote in big numbers and they vote for their LC ones. As, as, uh, as your chairman have engaged them, uh, we are going to do a production this evening with the chairman electoral commission. We shall have all the other media platforms, UBC, NTV, NBS, uh, rebroadcast and so many other radios. Please join in so that we can sensitize our people 
today from 7.30 to 9 p.m. Let's sensitize the Ugandans so that they can come out and vote so that we can vote our country. For God and my country, I thank you.